complex. He was already en route. Damn. And y'all tried to call him. No, nah, we didn't try to call him. He was just once we figured out he was gone. I was, I, I was, how long was, was the interview though? Like, man, it was about was it time 38, to go? 40 minutes or something like nah, that. Nah, y'all supposed to kick it. Yeah, I'll kick it. And we thought he was going to, because we like, he said he wanted to come. Okay. So maybe he just was like, maybe in his mind he was like, fucking these niggas up, I'll just leave him with that. And <laughs> <let> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I tripped off of the fact of, man, how you basically just became the nigga, you know, the famous nigga. I don't I understand become the nigga. I always how the hell, the How nigga. the hell you just, you end up, everybody know Carlos Miller. That's now. the that's the whole, whole like. It was three gay dudes laying on my hood. As soon as they saw me, they went off. Uh-uh, say what you said. Hard part about the entertainment industry. You know how much shit I had to do? Before, it looked like you didn't do See, nothing. that's before what I wanted the to internet, know. It was, this was like, I started doing like when comedy, comedy in 2005. I scratch you, bitch. I was like, oh my God. That's the only thing that scared me was this little hand. Say what you said. <laughs> okay. So this is right at the end of like the old school go to the comedy club, sign up for open mic type shit. This is before you could become an internet personality, like right before that. You so how long saying? did it take for you from the first moment you started your comedy to really like get where everybody knew who you were? Shit, from the first day to yesterday. I ain't finished yet. I'm still <laughs> But a lot of people it. still know you right now. They do. Okay. But not enough to where okay, Rick okay, Ross okay. just okay. walk out of the place and just went on by the bit. Nigga ain't all that. Yeah. You can't take your foot off for... For nine, nigga. <laughs> All gay. Oh, I'm talking about for life. It don't, don't, make me go to, don't matter how big you get, Rick Ross will leave. I seen matter. that on y'all show. It, it don't matter how big you get, <laughs> they go leave. How did that happen? Tell, I, I don't mean to jump subjects, but I, just give me a little spiel on y'all was really doing a hell of an intense, good interview. It was yeah. dope. Like everything you know, Rick was on it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm gonna be honest. It's hard for me to answer, and the only reason I'm gonna tell you that is because. They all meant so much for different reasons. Yeah. But then he, he just kind of eased back. But you I had floated. to go use the restroom. He floated out. <laughs> That's the craziest thing about the shit, though, because it was like like nothing happened. Nobody said shit. He just went to the bathroom. Right. And like he said, he was he got to checking his phone and hitting the blunt, and then the nigga just kind of floated out. To, it's, I don't even know if it was just like, I don't even know if he knew he was leaving, because he just like... That man, you know Rick Ross a big dude. <laughs> How the fuck did he just tiptoe and none of us see him or nothing? Well, y'all was does just sitting there waiting, pass, huh? Does he have to pass your room to get out? Yeah. That nigga, oh. he came, like, we sitting right here, see. right? Say, me and you talking like this. <laughs> Some kind of way that nigga just floated through the background and then we was just like, he gone? How long did y'all wait before y'all knew, like, damn, like... He was gone, gone before we even <laughs> knew. He was, like, out of the complex. He was already en route. Damn. And y'all tried to call him? Nah, we didn't try to call him. He was just, once we figured out, he was gone. Laptop. You had a dip. You had a dip. That's how you dip. Yeah, no. Now you see him, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, how long was the interview, though? Like, man, it was about was it time 38, to go? 40 minutes or something like nah, that. Nah, y'all supposed to kick it. Y'all kicking it. And we thought he was going to, because we like, he said he wanted to come. Okay. So maybe he just was like, maybe in his mind he was like, fucking these niggas up, I'll just leave them with that. And <laughs> <let> them <go." laughs> Man, that's my dog, though. We I see know it. Everybody done ran into him. We done chopped it up, man. But he's like, man, you're but not that's like, That shit was so perfect. How else could a Rick Ross interview end? Man, that I was the dopest way, bro. Man. I, mean, boy, I want him to come back and just wear the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I do. I want him to have the exact same shit on and then like come out the bathroom wiping his hands with a paper <laughs> towel. <man. laughs> yeah, That'll be like dope. Like I was saying. <laughs> He still got to show up the way he left. That nigga smooth too when he be talking. That nigga is hilarious. Every time I hear that nigga when he went off about the cryptocurrency, bro, right. that was good for me right there. He crypto, crypto, where it's at. Boy, I played that for all my niggas with the crypto. <laughs> Ooh, I was sending them niggas texts, nigga. I sent Rick Ross to everybody. Shout out to that boy Watts, man, my IT guy. Yeah. Man, that nigga cold, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.